Y'all ready for the hottest ish in the streets? Keen invites you to party with his new hip hop club, Keen EP. Check it out right now on YouTube and all digital platforms, including Spotify, Apple Music. All of it is in the link. Click that link on the source link. Go tap in right now and support them. Peace. In the video, you saw somebody expose Zion Williamson, public and star on uh, on TikTok. All right, he was messing with a chick on IG. Her name is uh, Morgan Davis underscore twenty four, and uh, she basically. Or the TikToker expo exposed him for trying to uh, basically, you know, you seen the video said that you know you still want to link and like I like I said before, man, um, this ain't the first time that uh, this ain't the first time that uh, Zion been exposed for trying to talk to a white girl that looked just like her. All right, and, you know, most people say sub part, but we all know beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You know, he definitely got a, he definitely has a type and, you know, the last white girl looked just like him. And my thing is like, man, why he, why he, why he, why he, why he getting exposed? But that's a rhetorical question. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love support. She got, uh, she only got 17,000 followers and she ain't, you know, she ain't all that in the face, but, um, you know, but her Instagram is Morgan Davis underscore 24. And, um, you know. Like I said today, it is no, uh, you know, women, damn, not getting on my nerves. Women, there's no taboo with women no more. You know, they, they out and about, um, they don't, they don't care. They don't have a code no more about, you know, moving in secrecy. I remember, uh, Kenny Davis, ex-wife, I forget her name. She was saying that, you know, she didn't know Kenny Anderson, remember the old ball player. He, she didn't know that he had hoes until, you know, until after they was divorced. He said she didn't know anything about. The women, the women that he had on the side until after the divorce was, was through, and that's back when women used to play their part. That's back when you know, yeah, you know, that's back when women used to play their role. But then again, number two always want to be number one, and um, that that's back when women played their role at least. That's when they kind of played the outskirts. They played, you know, the back scene, and um, you know, it's just different today. Women want to be seen. You know, they don't have. There's no shame in being the side chick. There's no shame in being the mistress. It's no shame in, 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 in you know, you know, being out here, being on, on, you know, pe people don't care no more. Remember, you know, people ask you, what if you seen your girl on, on a porn site, you know, getting ran by three dudes? Dudes don't care no more about that. Hood rats and hoes are in demand now. You know, you know, back in the day, you used to want, you know, your woman to keep, you used to want your woman to keep, uh, you know, keep her goodies. You know, she could wear a little something, but now you got women wearing see-through tops, blouses, and with you know see-through bras and you know you know it's nothing taboo but you don't you don't marry them you you don't marry them you don't marry hoes because to put it up put it up put it back to you this way would you want your daughter doing that doing that same thing would you want your son going to school when you your mama he could buy his mom's you, or niggas can buy their, his, their mom's only fans account no but they starting to wife them hoes they starting to wife them and they trying to see it, it don't work they are for what they are. You you hit them, you hit them and split them. You hit them and split. You know, but then again, like I said before, it ain't no point of, of, of being with somebody if you're going to play the outfield. Because these these women don't take no shame in that game and expose you and expose and sucking your shit, expose and being a hoe. You know, nobody, hoes don't want to play their roles no more. Side chicks don't want to play their roles no more. You know, they don't, they don't want to play their roles no more. And, um, you know, they just don't. They don't want to play their roles no more. And honestly, you know, you got somebody that's going to play their part, man. Cool. But then again, you know, I don't think Zion with nobody. So, you know, the, the, the thing is, he, he like a type of woman. He likes a type. You know? But he said some fan felt as though the girl who exposed Zion is simply ch chasing clout. Zion is one of the biggest names in the NBA right now. You know, while he may not be amongst the upper echelon of players, he's still a high right real machine who made a name for himself at Duke while playing for New Orleans Packers has shown some tremendous upside and there is no doubt he can be a top ten player in this league in years to come with better better players around him. One could argue Zion will one day be the face of the league with some fans. But with fame comes a lot of pitfalls, and Zion understands this better than anyone. For instance, while at Duke, a girl exposed him on Twitter for sending him thirsty for sending her thirsty videos. The whole thing went viral, even and eventually it blew over. Unfortunately, it appears Zion has been caught up again. This time, 
yet again another girl on Snapchat. A girl named Morgan Davis took the TikTok with her video, uh, scrolling through her Snapchat only to find a DM from my bad Snapchat from uh, Zion Williamson, where her, where he asked her if she wanted to link the girl, seeing the exasperated by the whole ordeal as she opened up the message grueling. The video was posted on Twitter where it eventually went viral. My thing is, uh, you know, fans were giving a steady dose of blame to both parts. My thing is this, man. That's how these kids talk now. You know, that's how they hook up. You know, they don't, you know, you see, you know, see a girl walking the street, remember? Niggas be nervous to go talk to women. You know, now, you know, they don't have to walk up to women no more. They don't have to ask a girl out, you know, in science classes, pass papers around or catch the girl right at the bus stop, you chop it up. Now they just seeing DMs. Now they say some they saying some crazy shit in the DMs. And there's no consequences or repercussions in the DMs. But like I said before, you know, um you know, like, like I said before, a lot of the NBA players, man, they simps. I, mean, I wouldn't say they simps, they just don't have the courage. They don't they don't have no game. So, you know, like I said before, it don't, it don't surprise me, bro. Zion Zion could walk up to the mall and walk away with, with five chicks ready to do anything that he want he wanna do. He could. So, my thing is, she she made a, a fool of herself. If, you know, if we ain't going to hook up, we ain't going to hook up. I can care less. Let's move on. You don't look like nothing much, especially in the face. So, you know, if you want to just do shit for clout, cool. But, you know, for him, you know, that's how you get girls. But I tell him, man. I tell him, man. I'm, I mean, like I said, most NBA players, man, they spent their way on the AU circuit playing back. They don't know how to talk to women. They don't know how to chop game. Because I ain't going to do a lot better than that, but. Like I said before, he probably just want to quick, you know, he just want to probably want to kick, he want to just, you know, get something off real quick and move on. But she want to, she want to act like, uh, she want to act like, you know, like she better, oh, Lucas, I ain't going to talk to me. Like, okay. Okay, but for him, man, it is what it is, man. You can't avoid that. You can't avoid that, bro, you know. People gonna you know DM. People gonna you know show off. You know, see, I'm you know I'm you know I can you know fuck with Zion. Women gonna people gonna do that. Show DMs. People gonna try to expose you and all that. You know, even if you know you meet a person and chop it up in person, girls gonna you know leak your phone number and all that. He did this. He did that. It is what it comes with the part of the game. I'd rather be dealing with that than working at fucking Seven Eleven. So it is what it is. But yeah, he did get exposed in Duke. I remember that. That's the one I was talking about. You know, but hey. Everybody thirsty at some point. You will play the role. Everybody thirsty. Everybody thirsty at some point. That's just the honest truth. Everybody thirsty. At some point, everybody, everybody got to get their serve on. Everybody at some point get horny. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? But he gonna live and learn. He gonna find. He gonna this shit gonna blow over like the last time it is. It's gonna be what it is. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quest. All my social media link subscription. Twitter's the fastest way than Facebook and Instagram. All my social media link subscription. Facebook group link there as well too. When I advertise on channel, video request, chop it up, whatever it may be. Links there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. The rest of the donate, share, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. Peace.